a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Hubert Green Hubert Myatt Green was an American professional golfer who won 29 professional golf tournaments, including two major championships, the 1977 U.S. Open and the 1985 PGA Championship. He was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 2007. Early Life Green was born in Birmingham, Alabama. He attended and played golf for Shades Valley High School in Birmingham, and then Florida State University in Tallahassee, Florida. While at FSU, he won the Southern Amateur in 1966 on his home course at the Country Club of Birmingham. In 1967, he became the Alabama Amateur Golf Champion, a title he successfully defended in 1968. He also won the Cape Coral and Turk Collegiate Tournament by eight strokes and the Miami Invitational by five strokes, among others. His fourth-place finish in the 1968 U.S. Amateur in Columbus, Ohio, earned him an invitation to play in the 1969 Masters as an amateur. Green graduated from FSU in 1968 with a degree in marketing. That year he also enlisted in the Alabama National Guard at Enterprise, Alabama. However, in 1969, Green won the Southern Amateur for a second time, and as one of the top 10 amateurs in the country, he decided to turn pro. He took a year to earn his PGA of America credentials. Career In his 26 years on the PGA Tour, Green had 19 victories, including two major championships, the 1977 U.S. Open at Southern Hills Country Club in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the 1985 PGA Championship at Cherry Hills Country Club in Cherry Hills Village, Colorado. He finished in the top 25 in a third of the PGA Tour events he entered. He also played on three Ryder Cup teams and was undefeated in singles play. In 1971, Green won the Houston Champions International and was the PGA Tour's Rookie of the Year. He went on to multiple victories throughout 1970s, but he was at his peak in the latter part of that decade. In March 1976, Green won three PGA Tour events in consecutive weeks, an unusual achievement in any era. At the 1977 U.S. Open, as Green walked to the 15th tee of the final round, he was notified of a caller anonymously phoning in a death threat on his life. The police presented him with options, and he courageously opted to play on, winning by one stroke over Lou Graham. A month later at the 1977 Open Championship, at Turnbury, Green finished third behind Tom Watson and Jack Nicklaus, who were respectively 11 and 10 shots clear of Green in their famous duel in the sun. Green was ranked third in Mark McCormick's World Golf Rankings in 1977, having also won the 1977 Irish Open in August. Green finished in the top ten of the Masters six times in seven years from 1974 to 1980. At the 1978 Masters he came to the final hole about 30 minutes after Gary Player had finished a round of 64. Player had a one-shot lead over Green, who hit a good drive, and then a great approach to within three feet of the cup. Green had to back away from the putt, when he overheard radio announcer Jim Kelly say something. When Green took the stroke, he pushed it a little to the right and the putt slid by. Green never blamed Kelly, however, telling Golf Digest, only an amateur would have been put off by the interruption, or would try to make excuses about it. At the 1985 PGA Championship, Green won his second major title, two strokes ahead of defending champion Lee Trevino. It was Green's 19th and final victory on the PGA Tour. In 1998, his second season on the senior PGA Tour, Green won the Bruno's Memorial Classic in his hometown of Birmingham, Alabama. He shot a final round of 64, playing the last six holes with an eagle, four birdies, and one par to beat Hale Irwin by one stroke. Green was also active in golf course design, having worked on TPC South Wind, the site, for the PGA Tour's St. Jude Classic, Reynolds Plantation in Greensboro, Georgia, and Greystone Golf and Country Club, the site of his Bruno's Classic victory. Green retired as a touring professional in 2009. Cancer Survivor In the spring of 2003, Green was diagnosed with oral cancer after his dentist noticed an unusual swelling on the back of his tongue after a routine cleaning and referred him to a medical specialist for evaluation. Green underwent a very difficult and painful regimen of radiation and chemotherapy treatments during the summer of 2003. 
By the end of 2003, however, his cancer was in remission. His weight crept up to 165 pounds from a low of 143 pounds. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like